Okay, today in the shop, we are going to remove the lens on New Wave Toys Asteroids. And I have watched a lot of YouTube video and reviews out there on, on the, this particular machine. And there's a mixed bag of people who like the CRT effect and some people who don't like the CRT effect. So I thought I would do a video on how to remove the lens. And this is, uh, if you do this correctly, collect, uh, yeah, right. If you do it correctly, it would be a, it's a non-destructive uh, method of, on the machine. But if you break something, crack something, scratch something, don't blame me and do this at your own risk. This is, you know, for educational purposes only. So this is what this is all about. So the first thing we want to do is uh, I've got a neat little spade tool here that I use. It's got a sharp edge on it. This is the same tool, very strong um, and very sharp here. This is what I use to uh, open laptops with. And then the uh, it works great for that, for popping those plastic pressed together joints that they have. So, but the first thing you want to do is uh, Take a hair dryer if if these won't re if they won't pop you know peel off correctly if they feel like they're going to tear just take a hair dryer and heat those up a little bit and you can get to the screw behind that one and then this one up above this one up here has a screw at the at the very top also this very top screw right here you see that there's a screw there so and then what we're going to do now we're going to we're going to pick up the camera and swing around I'm gonna remove the back so after you take this top screw out and then that bottom screw comes out then the back will come right off like that and then uh, there's two be careful there's two cables back here you've got a uh, a ribbon cable here that plugs into the power uh, actually, that's the power in jack for the charging. That's this port here, and then you've got the speaker cable, which plugs in right down here. You see that right there is where I've got it, and these are uh, right there is where it goes. And these are all squeeze uh, connectors. So you squeeze the little pin, this little pin, you squeeze it, then you can pull those straight out. So now we can take this side piece and then set it aside here. We don't need it right now so we'll just set it over there so now we've got a free clear area to work in and the cable length in here is long enough when this uh when you start to tilt the screen forward that these this ribbon cable and then this cable that runs up to the switch and volume and then you've got the marquee light cable right here so i was going to show you the next set of screws to remove and that will be this screw here, there's a screw here on this cross brace. You want to remove that. And then there's a screw here on that same cross brace. And then that what's, uh, that's what holds the back of that bottom part of this LCD display. This is actually the plastic that the LCD is mounted to. And then this is the LC, one of the LCD uh, boards, that the ribbon connectors. Be careful of the ribbons, of course. They're delicate you wouldn't want to do any damage to those so just be careful with those and that's what it looks like basically on the inside here let's get my light up here a little bit better and then you can see in here and there's the battery at the bottom and then we're going to take that ribbon tuck it in so it won't get in the way so now we're going to flip the machine around this direction and I want to get up here at the top. And then there are, oh yes, there's two more screws I wanted to tell you about here. After you have the back off, there are two more screws. There's a screw here you take out, a screw here you take out, because this is the screw hole for the center, for your back, that's the back screw. Take the little one out, take the little one out, Pull those two on that cross brace and that releases that LCD and then comes the fun part. Then you need to get 
because the under this marquee, this plastic right here, this if you got a don't have this particular tool, if you have a guitar pick or possibly a discarded uh, credit card would work, you can run that along here and see how these snap these little pins up underneath right up in here snap into these holes these three holes here these three slots that one number two and number three so by putting the tool underneath there you can release that and they put a little bit of glue in here so you'll hear it snap so be very careful at this point because this plastic is on the top of this bezel and the marquee because here's the mark here's the back of the marquee right here you can see you can see where my where it says missile command there in reverse when I get my light shining through there you know once you break that loose then you'll need to pull forward straight down forward this direction straight down you'll pull forward you pull this bezel forward from I would recommend grabbing it here grabbing it here and just be very careful because these these edges here are underneath this and it's going to have to roll those edges right up from underneath here you know we could remove this part but here's the thing if by taking those two screws loose that allows this to pivot and this is what it looks like back in through here looking from the back now there's the marquee led lights right there and this panel here that is the volume control and the power switch but they're held together there's two screws there's one screw right here and same on the other side but you don't want to don't want to damage this beautiful artwork so you know allow that to pivot a little bit will help kind of break this loose here because you'll take some of the some of that tension off so you'll be able to it'll be able to move just a little i mean it doesn't take much but you will have to exert just a little bit of pressure here to pull but i would say like i said pull here and here don't pull from the center you'll put too much pressure there so once you do that then we can pull that screen forward and then you're going to roll take that screen down and you see how that ribbon we got plenty of ribbon here and then what you can do is push push that back into the cabinet too and then that supports that and then we'll have four more screws to take out and i've already taken out three of them this one Take, remove that one, remove this one, remove this one, and then I'm going to take this one off because I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when we take that uh, the lens out between the bezel and the uh, LCD. So we're going to remove this screw, and I was going to show you, this is the screws that you should have. This will be the the lower back cross brace that holds the LCD in. This is gonna be the, the, the back that I showed you that holds the power switch and the volume control down on the back side. These are the two back screws, the main screws, and then these are the four screws that hold the LCD. So I'm gonna sit back down here and then we're gonna lift up. You can grab this here. Be careful this, of this ribbon and this ribbon here. Lift up, take the L, this is the actual LCD. I'm gonna set it back there, let it rest back there. And now you're, now we're faced with the gasket. Now let me get some good light up here. Now we have the gasket. And then that's this the foam part right here. And then we're gonna remove, we're gonna remove that. And you can put it back in, but I, noticed when I put it back without the uh, without the lens here that you could see the foam sticking through on the bezel at minute because basically from here to here hides that foam and of course by by the time you get to here you're bending that light pretty good anyway so there's the actual lens itself that some of you don't like and so what we're going to do take a piece of masking tape or something and then make it into a piece of two-way, you know, loop it so the sticky side's on the outside. And then we can just kind of press that, press that on here and then I can lift straight up and I can pull that lens right off. There's no, that way you're not wrestling. Cause that lens flush, it's flush with this bracket right here. So you just can't reach in with your finger and grab it. 
do it with a piece of tape and then it'll come right out. So this, this here is the lens. And you can see, I'll use the artwork as an example, you can see how it distorts the image there, you know. And like I said, this is what some of you don't like, so that's why I wanted to do this video to show you how to remove it. So these two pieces, I won't put back in. And then what we'll do next is we'll reach back in here. Be careful, don't get any fingerprints on the LCD. And then we're gonna lay this right back on top of the bracket. Center it back on the pins and then it'll drop straight down. And then, we're, then we'll put the, uh, the screws back in. I'm only just gonna put one back in for right now because I'm gonna, there's a, something else I wanna do later, but I don't wanna put it all totally back together, but I'll just show you here. I'll put one in so we can hold the LCD in place because I don't want to have it drop back out of there when I tilt it back. Okay, so now we will tilt back the LCD and I left the protective paper on there from when it was new, I still had it, so I put it back on there so I wouldn't get fingerprints on it. But you can use, if you don't have it, you can use cellophane or something. Push it down, line it right back up with the edge of the edge of that control panel and then once you get it to there, a good firm push on this side and this side, ease it, just ease it in there and it will snap back and in, in place. And then uh, I'm gonna pull back this plastic here, shut this light off, pull this plastic back, and then I'll show you what, uh, what that's gonna look like. Let's see, I'll put a little light there, that way you can see. And we'll pull it back here and then I'll uh, reach around. This is what it's going to look like. So see, you cannot, you can't see that, that uh, foam anymore. And you would be able to see that once that's powered up, that some of this foam gasket here would show, you would be poking into the bezel. You'd see it now because you don't have that lens distorting that uh, image where that hid that foam, you know. So now I'm going to set the, uh, camera back get my finger out of the way set my camera back here and then I'm gonna we're gonna hook the back up and then put the right now I'll just hook the uh, power cable in so we can fire power this up and I wanted to show you what it's gonna look like so let's go ahead and power this up pop that back in there and and on those uh, clips you will hear them click when they go back and we'll put the back back on turn it around and I'll just leave it like that for now and I'll hit the power switch to power it up and then uh, let's see Now it's booting. Now it's, yeah, now it's booting up. And then I'll show you once it gets here how it looks. Without hopefully without the reflection. Let me shut some lights off here. I'll shut this light off. So it's still booting up. All right, so now it's, uh, it's gonna be running a track mode. So that's what it looks like now. And I can go side, go up, still looks good. Go down below and go to this side, still looks good. They used an IPS display in here apparently. So it looks good. So now it looks just like a normal LCD uh, with no reflection, except from my phone, because that's in the plexiglass, that has nothing to do, but the lens is gone. Because if the lens was back in, then you know, you would be seeing something like this. If the, if the lens was back in there, you know, then you're getting that, you're, this is what it would, kind of a idea of what it used to look like, of course you wouldn't know that, but looking. So. Well, that's without the lens. So anyway, like I said, do this with your own risk and 
you know, don't blame me if you scratch it or break something. Try it, see, see what you think. I just thought I'd post a video on it and, and do that so it can show people that it can be done, but you just gotta be really careful up here in this part right here. And then reverse everything to put everything back together, put your screws back. So, you know, you don't wanna see any extra screws. Any extra screws is a bad thing. So, all right, thank you for watching my video. Hope this helps everybody. Thank you. Talk to you later.